Hello, my name is Piers and I'm a master's student at the University of Warwick. This is my poster for the IEEE 2020 Sensors Visual Conference. My poster is about a smart city, battery operated, Internet of Things based indoor air quality monitoring system. Indoor air pollution is known to cause many health problems, so it is necessary to both monitor and identify sources of pollutants, especially as people are spending more and more time indoors. This is achieved using a sensor array with numerous commercially available sensors, including the Bosch BME680, Sensorons STD30, and the AMS CCS811. All are controlled using a Hazard 32 microcontroller from Adobe. With this sensor array, we are able to monitor volatile organic compounds, carbon dioxide, and particulate matter, both PM2.5 and PM10. To communicate this information to the end user, a more intuitive value is needed, rather than parts per million or mass per unit volume. So we have developed an indoor air quality index based off the US EPA guidelines, but adjusted to key indoor pollutants, where an air quality score between 0 and 500 is calculated. 0 is excellent and 500 is hazardous air quality. The calculated score is a combination of different indoor air quality factors. This information and more is displayed in a custom app developed in the Blink ecosystem, which allows for both real-time data display and historical averaging. In the app, we also provide user recommendations to improve air quality based upon the pollutant. There is also functionality to improve battery life by adding sleep cycling to the measurement protocol. To test our proof of concept, we conducted two experiments, one in a busy computer lab, the other in a household kitchen. Both produced expected results, with the busy lab indicating elevated CO2 levels due to occupation, but not exceeding safe limits. As for the kitchen experiment, VOC level was observed to increase during this activity. To conclude, the total cost of the device is around $200, with 30 hours of battery life under real-time logging conditions. By creating a simple indoor air quality monitoring system, a wireless sensor network can be made operational, which would enable robust pollution mapping with spatial data. In the future, this system can be further improved by a miniaturization, which can already be seen in the new Sensiron STD40. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact me or any of the other authors listed on the paper.